A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. The person who aligns with me hungers no more and thirsts no more ever. I have told you this explicitly because even though you have seen me in action, you don't really believe me. Every person the Father gives me eventually comes running to me, and once that person is with me, I hold on and don't let go. I came down from heaven not to follow my own agenda, but to accomplish the will of the one who sent me. This, in a nutshell, is that will, that everything handed over to me by the Father be completed, not a single detail missed. And at the wrap-up of time, I have everything and everyone put together, upright and whole. This is what my Father wants, that anyone who sees the Son and trusts who He is and what He does and then aligns with Him will enter real life, eternal life. My part is to put them on their feet, alive and whole, at the completion of time. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. To believe is to surrender. The crowd that followed Jesus had witnessed the miracle of the loaves in the desert. They hailed him as a prophet and wanted to make him their king. However, they chose to remain a crowd rather than believing in him and becoming his disciples. This unbelief of the crowd continued even when the evangelist was writing the gospel. He thought to address the question of lack of faith. Those who believed in Jesus and followed his way in the early community were no longer accepted in the synagogues by the Jews. John wants to reassure them Jesus will not reject anyone who comes to him because he reflected the image of God. Through Jesus, we come to know what God is like. Reflecting on today's Gospel passage, Father Richard Rohr writes about moving beyond mere belief and embracing a transformative encounter with Christ. The Gospel promises that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life. Believing in Jesus is not a mental exercise. It is an invitation to surrender, to allow His life to flow through us. Like bread broken and shared, we are called to be broken open for others. Our lives become Eucharistic moments, offering nourishment and hope to a hungry world. Pope Francis reminds us that Jesus is not merely a historical figure or a dis distant deity. He is the living bread, nourishing our souls with divine love and purpose. When we encounter Jesus, we encounter life itself. Our hunger for meaning finds fulfillment in Him.